Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Hollow Knight Silk Song is having an issue that is called Unity Crashing Error or Unity Error 6050F1 that is happening for many users right now. When whenever they are trying to play the game, they end up in having this issue. And how we can fix this? So we'll be directly get into a step. So the first one is all about if you're having the dual graphics card. Users disable the integrated graphics card. So to do so, just go over here, search for the device manager, click on the device manager, expand this, go over here for the display adapters. So if you're having, for me, I'm having only NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Super, but you will be having two graphics card. If that is the case, you have to disable one. For example, if I'm having multiple graphics card, if I click on the graphics card that you wanted to disable, Go for disable device and disable the graphics card. Then you have to launch the game and you have to check that might work. Next one, we need to install the game installation of a graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. So the NVIDIA users can go to this particular page, find your product type. So in my case, it is GeoForce. Then I have to select the series and the product, then operating system that is Windows 11. On the language, everything should be selected and go for start search. Now, wait for a bit of time. And once it comes up, you can see you have to download and install the latest version of the graphics card. After installing and downloading this, this is for the NVIDIA users. We can go back to the game and launch the game. For the AMD users can go do the same. Go to the graphics, find your processor, go to Y1000 series over here and go to submit. Now, if you're on the Windows 11 with 64-bit edition, we can download this one and if you're on the Windows 10 with 64-bit edition, we can download this one and you can check that might work. Next up is all about you have to delete the config file, create a backup first. That is very important. So keep in mind all the saved settings will be lost. So to do so, so we need to usually launch the game. But if you're not able to launch the game, what you need to do is just follow the instruction. Just go within the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk C. Go to users, go to your admin, go to app data, go to local low. Now from here, go to team cherry and delete this folder. First, before deleting, you have to take a backup. So create a backup first. So I have already created a backup here. Once the backup is created, either you can rename this and you can check or you can completely delete this and you can check. But keep in mind, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. That is very important. So you'll be losing all the progressions and you have to check. Next step, similarly, we have one more step that we need to rename the saved game file and create a backup first. That is also very important. So to do so, just go over here. There is one more step. Apart from this, go to registry editor. Go for yes. Now we need to navigate to the game installation like this. So let me ex minimize this. So this is how it default it looks like. Now expand the HK current user. Now expand the software. Now scroll down and navigate to Team Cherry and find Hollow Knight Silk Song. So we have two methods, either you can delete this particular file, then you'll be losing all the provisions, but even though it worked for a few users, or you can rename this. But before whatever you do, any one of the from the two, make sure that you create a backup. So to do so, right click, go to export option and create a backup. So I have already created a backup here in the desktop. You can see this is a backup which I created. So you can create a backup, then first rename this, then launch the game to from the steep and check. If not working, you can completely delete it then launch the game and you have to check this will be recreated back that might help in some cases next one is all about we need to set the vertical sync to use 3d application settings in the nvidia control panel so that is very important so just go over here right click and go to show more options navigate to the nvidia control panel just wait for a bit of time now go to program setting now make sure that you have added the game. As you can see, if you don't find the game, click on add icon and add the game. Now scroll down and navigate to vertical sync. Now over here, as you can see, I have kept this on use the 3D application setting. If it is turned on, change this to use the 3D application setting. If it is turned off, change this to use the 3D application setting. Go for apply. Then you can launch the game and you can check. That might work in some cases. Next one, try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So go over here, right click and go to the properties. Now remove this. First you have to type DX11 
now launch the game and that might work or you can remove this then type dx12 then launch the game and that might work both are fine you can try either any one of these make sure and run the game from the installation folder and also try the run as administrator and also try running the game in the compatibility mode and disable all the full screen optimization so that is very important so just go over here right click and go to manage click on the browse local file that will take you to the game installation folder now from here what you need to do is just find the from here you have to launch the game instead of launching it from the steam sometimes try launching it from here that might work for many users so you can do this up or you can just right click over here show more options go to the properties go to compatibility put a check on run this program in the compatibility mode put a check on disable full screen optimization and also put a check on run this program as an administrator go for ok and you have to close everything and you have to check that might work in some cases as well next one is all about if you're using any third party antiviruses like komodo avast avg mkfa not on bit defender then allow the game exe file to this particular antivirus program or if you are having the window security and other as well you need to allow them to do so go over here search for the window security click on the window security now from here click on virus and threat protection scroll down and click on manage setting scroll down here and click on and or remove exclusion go for yes now we need to add the game here here as you can see i have already added the game might be able to find it Hollow Knight is already added, so I have already added. This is what you have to do. And also similarly, search here for control panel, then click on the control panel. Now find Windows Defender Firewall. Navigate to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Hollow Knight. Somewhere else you will be able to find Hollow Knight Silk Song. Then put a check on private and public. And once you add this, you have to check. If you don't find, you can click on change setting and you can add it. Most probably it will be there. Only the thing that you need to make sure is you have to put a check on private and public. Then you have to close this and you have to launch the game and you have to check. Next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card and desktop users try connecting or disable the HDMI cable and try connecting to the graphics card. So in order to run the game, just go over here. Search for the graphics settings. Now from here, just click on add desktop app. Navigate to the game installation folder, select this and go for add and once you add it, you need to scroll down over here, expand this, set this to high performance, this would be default on let windows decide, change this to high performance, then you have to close everything and you have to check. Next one is all about close Citrix workspace or any third party apps, unplug external devices such as Hotas, pedals, raising wheels, eraser, tartarus, disconnect or the additional. USB adapters connected to the PC. Then you have to disconnect additional joystick controllers connected. Disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Make sure this is turned off. And also verify the Steam overlay. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Go to installed file, click on the verify integrity of game file. Because if any files are corrupted, we'll be having these kind of issues down the road. So make sure a habit but you have to verify the game file and also if you find any overclocking applications is running in the background like nvidia geoforce you know revartune or msc afterburner we need to close it to do so go over here search for task manager click on the task manager now from here you have to expand this find the application that is having this one so right click on this one and we have to end the task and we have to remove it then you have to check Next one is all about we need to install the Visual C++ and also try the power saving mode on the battery and also turn off or on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and we need to verify it. To do so go over here, search for the control panel first, click on the control panel. Now from here navigate to power options. Now go to over here as you can see this is being set into the balanced one by default. Change this to the power saver and you have to check. Next one, go to the settings, click on the settings, navigate to system, scroll down to the display. Now from here, scroll down and click on the graphics and go to advanced graphics and you can see the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. So if it is on, you have to turn this off. Now restart your PC, then go back to the Steam and launch the game. And if it is already turned off, you have to turn this on and you have to launch the game and you can check. 
increase the virtual memory so just go over here search for view advanced system setting click on this one navigate to the advanced go for settings go to advanced go for change you have to uncheck this and go for the game in which it is installed so in my case it is e so select e go to the custom size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we need to do the calculations go for the calculator so first type your ram the 16 gb multiplied with 1024 then you have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you this value that is 24576 copy this and you have to paste it next one 16 gb multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152 copy this particular value and you have to paste it and go for ok and you have to check next one we need to update the windows so go over here search for the settings click on the settings now from here navigate to the windows update just update your windows and you have to check that might work in some cases and you can check if not you can just uninstall and reinstall the game so to do so go over here right click and go to manage uninstall it then we have to reinstall it back so while reinstalling it back it should not be installing back on the local disk e from which it is already there you have to try either d or c then you have to check that might work so these are the steps and i hope this quick video is helpful that's it bye bye